Hello, no one, and welcome back to Don't Escape 4, where we are on the uh, acid rain zombie lightning day, I think is what we're trying to protect ourselves against, right? Kate wanted us to go into the city, so I guess, I guess that's where we're headed. Hey, look, I can go to this way down here, but I can't cross this bridge. There's gotta, okay, so there has to be a way to get from here to his house. Seven minutes, so I need to look for, I don't know, maybe there's some building materials that I have neglected thus far. I need some wood or something. There are no nails left, just a stack of rotten planks, and I can't, can't harvest those for anything. Uh, yep, just rotten planks, okay. Then I won't, maybe I'll, I'll try to pry some up, because I can make like a makeshift bridge, couldn't I? Potentially. Okay, never mind, never mind. Hmm, anything out front? I don't think there's really anything out front to begin with. No, oh, there's like a tree. Ground around the base. I could dig some ditches here to prepare for the incoming storm. Oh. Okay, I'll do that. All right. Kate, you can we we can put your city travel on hold. We gotta dig a dig a ditch real quick with my shovel. That's I guess in the car. Yep, use shovel on around base. Digging ditches would help with the large amount of water pouring down from the sky, but first we have to go off to the... No, we don't have We don't have to. We're choosing to, because Kate told us to, but we really need to prepare for survival tonight. Yes, just go to the bridge. What can I do to... There. Oh, there's planks right here. I can't take those planks with me, but they could probably be useful right here by the bridge if I had the proper tools. Um, I have a lot of tools. Which ones do I need? Crowbar? Bad idea. Hammer? Uh, try wait, try just go over there and try the hammer, sir. Hammer. I need nails to do this. I have nails back at the house. I gotta go get those. This bridge is gonna cut down on our time a lot. Hopefully. Alright, I'm gonna leave the plastic wrap up just because plastic wrap will help probably probably help keep out the uh, the rain, right? Oh uh, wait, but if I take the the nails and build a bridge out of them, am I going to be able to... Shoot, am I going to be able to defend the uh, the house from the acid rain? I don't know. I'll cross that bridge after I make this one. <laughs> Alright, time to nail these planks. Hey, whoa, whoa. That got sound on the time a lot. Do you want to use the hammer nails to build a makeshift bridge? This will require one handful of nails, but it will allow you to travel through the ravine without any delays. However, you will still have to stop your vehicle here if you have one. What? Then how am I s supposed to get the car? I'll do it, but how am I supposed to get the car over? To can I do it again? With another thing of planks so I can get the car across? Um, if you have a... Yeah, it will allow you to travel through the ravine with a vehicle if you have one. Sure. Cool. So now we can drive to his house, because apparently he can make the, make the car better or something. Say, hey, talk to me, sir. Hey, yes. The car. The car uses so much fuel, I don't think it's normal. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If there's something wrong, it might be with the engine. Can you take a look? Sure. Yes, I'll improve it. Uh, ooh, 80 minutes is a long time, but... I don't know. I feel like that's important. Maybe. Let's travel down here to the city. The city didn't survive even the first week of the apocalypse. Hit by earthquakes, it was quickly abandoned, only to be swallowed by a sea of sand after the climate changed. I never liked the idea of going there. It was like a massive tombstone emerging from the wasteland, luring travels so it could become a grave for more victims. Yet this was the place we had to go. This is just the place. Any questions? This is the outpost you're looking for, right? This isn't the outpost you were looking for, right? Have you been listening to me at all? Of course this isn't the outpost I was looking for. That one had a launch pad and a spaceship. This one, well, this is an office. Uh, are we looking for, what exactly are we looking for here? Coordinates. We need to know where the launch, launch pad outpost is located. Look for documents or maps you can find. It's got to be here somewhere. Um, what's your connection to the side rail plexus? I, I don't know what you mean. Well, how did you know about the spaceship being in the first place? We have this conversation at another time. It's a long story. Sure. Uh, can't inspect these cars really. Oh, so I, what? Oh, this is all just going to the same spot. Okay. Hmm. 
A big sand dune. Oh, sand dunes are slow. Slow walkings. You want to climb the sand dune? It'll take five minutes. Yeah, I, I kind of have to, don't I? I have to... Away to the roof. I can't not run up this. But that's a pretty cool... Uh, you know. Image. Right there. Hey, we're on the roof. Hey, there's a big hole in the wall. Whoa. Yikes. You want to just, might not have the time to save it. Um, yeah, I'll save Cody because he's the kid. The old man can hang on longer, can he? Get up. Ah! Oh, no, he did fall. Oh, God. Very came David. We're on a roof. This hole seems to go all the way down. It's at least a four-story drop, if not more. He couldn't survive that. Maybe he did. Maybe he landed on sand. How can you know? Barry! David. Did you just die? I gotta go back. I don't want him to die. So I gotta try saving Cody first. Maybe then I'll be able to... Uh, maybe then I'll be able to save Barry afterwards. Because... I don't know. But this also let me save time with the, uh, the nails and the truck and stuff. Okay, now we're back here. I'm going to say, don't cross yet. Ah, don't go down, no, don't go down. I need to save game. I have not saved the game, like, mid-game at all yet. Just at the end of days and stuff. So, uh, we'll see. Watch out! Okay, this time I'm gonna try saving Barry first. This is, you might not have enough time, but... Uh, ah, God. No, Cody, Cody, can you hear me? David. Uh, okay, no, I, nope, I need I need Cody. I need Cody. I need the kid. Right. He's like the future of humanity and whatever. Because, like, Barry was helpful with all the, like, with all the, the tasks and stuff. He's really nice for saving time, but I don't know. He's not just the little kid. I feel like Barry is more likely to have survived the fall and just be knocked out or something. No, Barry, Barry, can you... I don't know, if I get down there and, like, find his body and he's just, uh... You know... Uh, I should check on Cody first. Poor Cody. Okay, I should I should check... If, if, uh, there's, like, something next to him that could have saved Cody's life, I'll go back and let Cody do it. It's all right, you're safe. Calm down. Where, where is Barry? Sorry, I couldn't grab both of you. No! Why didn't you say Barry? He didn't want to live. He wanted me to save you. Sure. I think he wanted me to save you, Cody. So, so it's my fault? No, 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 no. He just, he cared about you more than he cared about himself. Shh, calm down, we have to move. David, I know this is terrible, but we can't let him die for nothing. Get down, get da get to the opening. I'll try to find another way in. Find the location of that base. Look for documents or a map of some sort. We'll meet up later, good luck. I don't know why we didn't all just go in through this other exit that apparently exists. Oh, uh, let's see. Barry is dead. I, oh, so he is, he is just dead. <laughs> All right. It wasn't very... Uh, time wasn't very merciful to this computer. Do we know how long it's been, like, apocalyptic at all? It says weeks, obviously, for... This computer doesn't seem to work. Weeks for the city to fall, but I don't know if there's been any other, like, timeline for stuff happening. Totally collapsed. Fire alarm. Can that do something? In case of emergency, break the glass. I think this is... I think I've done enough glass breaking for now. Can I smash it with a crowbar if I want to? I doubt anyone would come to the rescue anyway. That's probably fair. Anything in the elevator? Oh, apparently it, that, that opens. The elevator is stuck mid-floor. I don't think getting inside would be a good idea, but I could climb on top and climb through the building. It's so dark in here. Don't be scared, Cody. I'm not. What was that? I am scared. I don't want to be here. Hey, it's okay. I'm here. We'll get what we came for, and we'll just leave. Okay. Yep, I'm sure nothing will go wrong here. It's locked. What's in? Oh, it's very. Oh, it's a dead body. He has an ID on his neck. Ooh. So now I have a an ID, an ID badge. I can right click to view. Side rail plexus. Jacob sa sa I can't sa salmon. Is that his name? Jacob Salmon. Oh, this is actually just like an ID card with a key. Okay. Uh, nothing on the computer. Fax document. Confidential. We 
We evacuate to our designated launch pad. I'm moving on to the map. Please find any. Hey, please find an email. It's an escape. Ugh. In front of the building, three buses will be waiting for everyone. Bus A and B are being prepared for less important employees. Please ask us for seats in the coach marked with the letter C. Departure at 9 o'clock. Remember, C is the only bus that goes to the launch pad. Have your ID cards with you. This is super important. The crucial thing is to keep calm and follow orders. The trip to the mountains will take less than an hour, and departure is scheduled for 12 p.m. I assume I'm going to need you to know that. The sleep process will take place right after landing at the target location. Remind yourself of any training instructions you will need. There is a strict, complete ban on talking with people from outside of the company. Do not share information with colleagues, friends, or family. This will help us avoid panic. Remember, sharing any information is prohibited and excludes you from the escape list. There are only a few days left in this world. Let's keep it quiet. We do not want any hindrance at the end. Other instructions will be available out on site, including group assignments and the locations to which you'll be sent. Each of you will be briefed about what happened so you can share this information at the destination. It is very important crucial that we do not repeat the same mistakes anywhere else. Remember, the only way to escape is to stop running. Okay, so there's nothing over here in the darkness. No. Oh, oh, there's a PC right here that's not powered or it's broken or both. So obviously me and Kate are going to be able to go now since we both, I assume she has some sort of ID, something to identify her as a, an employee or affiliated with the group in, in some form or fashion, and now I have an ID. But considering you're really not supposed to share with anyone, are we going to be allowed to bring Cody on the ship? I've unlocked it! Back a battery. Oh! Oh! Pin A is 50, pin B is 10? What does that mean? Whoa. What? What? Wait, 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 wait. So I need to get 10, and I just have to do math? So I need pin A to be 50. So. Hmm. Pin A, pin B is 10, could be. Uh, this one doesn't have anything on it. Zero to negative 30 to zero to negative 20. So there, yeah, that's 10, obviously. Easy, easy peasy. So if I go 10, and then negative 10, then 15, then... Oh, I can't go into 10 right there. Nope, so that's not going to work. 35, yep, not even close. So if I connect this one to, to this, and then this to here, 40. Okay, so this one must be 15. So can I... Huh. Can't skip the negatives. Bounds at 40. Hmm. So what's this right here? This to here and then this to, to this one? What? Why did that just... Oh. Oh. Connect this to here. Bounds at 80 now. Okay. So if I just go there and then this to here and this to here. 55. Ah, oh, just barely too much. So this to here. Th this to here. This one to here. Wait. What? Shouldn't that have been... No. Okay. This to here. This to here. This to here. 50. Perfect. Okay. Now 10 to 10 minus 10. What if I go this one up to here? How do I connect? This one. This to here. This to here. Oh, wow. That's at 70? Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 70. 50. So this one's 20 right here. 20. This one to here. This to here. This to here. No, that's 80. That's way too high. So I can get 20 out of this. Wait, whoa, 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 okay. So this to here, this to here. 50. Okay, that one's at 50 now. Now we need to get this one. B needs to be 10. So right now it's at negative 10. Plus 10 is 0. Plus 10 right there. Hey, hey, nice, nice. Just leave. Yeah, cool. That was pretty fun. I enjoyed that. Anything else in this room? Nope. Well, I gotta check this guy's email now. I guess in this computer. Side real plexus, internet email. User, qu oh, quart, and then passes admin one. Nice, nice secure password. Leaves, is this the email I was looking for? Uh, wait, wait, I, no, no, no. What's this? You flag this email for. Breach of company email policy. Hunt is on, Jacob S Salmon is the name. Hey, so we talked during lunch, and we should totally go hunting this weekend. I've got a lodge a few miles outside of town where I keep hunting guns and some bear traps. Yeah, yeah, I know the traps are not perfectly legal, but who cares, right? It's a nice forest with a lot of game to chase. 
check out the attached page if you want to know how to get there. This place might be worth... Yeah, it might be worth checking out. That's pretty nice, Say, hey. What is this? Bastards. Fra oh, from Joshua Simeo to Douglas Kearney. You bastards today. You thought nobody would find find out. You destroyed the entire world, you maniacs. I'm like, damn sure every police department, every military organization, everyone will forcefully detain each and every one of your workers on site. You are no scientists. You're all charlatans. There will be no place on earth for you to hide. Okay. Is escape the email I'm looking for? Uh, all VIP personnel and researchers must evacuate immediately. Please find the attached email with the launch pad location. It might be useful in case Mr. In in case our Mr. Sampling, if you are reading this, one of our employees was causing trouble by spreading unsettling emails. As requested, he has been disposed of. Ooh, so that's it. The location we needed. I've marked it on my map. Now I can finally get out of here. Um, uh, what is this? Important? Are we in danger? No. Uh, whatever. Visit. Visitors. Uh, here's a list of people visiting from World SP4. Hmm. Jonathan Sampling, Geology. Okay, please take care of all... So, Catherine... Oh, wait, 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 Pilot. Can that be Kate? We're really having... Going to have to... Wait, so I gotta actually read this. Uh, Director Bell's Post 4, John Sampling, Geology, Cosmology, Crystal... Crystal or Graphist, Samuel Security. Please take care of accommodations for our guests and prepare all necessary luggage. Find someone who will assist. Miss Vandera... When it comes to Mr. Sampling, he will be accompanied by Catherine Mayweather. She is our new pilot. Please keep her on a need-to-know basis only and do not disclose any confidential information. There is not much left until we arrive. Treat this task as a priority. Visitors from... From World SP4. So is Catherine an alien, or does she just know about the aliens? Hey, this is from Catherine Mayweather. No, Mr. Douglas, I will not go out to dinner with you. I could say I'm sorry, but but while I don't know you, I assure you, uh, I assume you value me as a truthful person. As such, I have to tell you, I am not really sorry. Kate. Nice one, Kate. So yeah, I've been working on configuring the power output for the backup battery in our floor. As you know, it's all a bit makeshift now. There is no backup battery for the guys below us, but it's possible to rewire our battery if needed. Just make sure to feed a pin, feed pin A with 15, and pin B with or out with 40. You'd better, better print it out or write it down, because once you start rewiring, this floor will be cut off from emergency power. Not that it's likely to happen, though. Our grid is secure and will last till the end of the world. And hey, how about that hunting weekend? Wait, so... so A with 15 and B with 40. That's not what I needed before. Instant place on the surface of the moon. Despite the incident, today all is normal. Continue working. Please do not panic. Additionally, we would like to remind you that you are legally obliged by the company to deny any connection between the company and the recent incident. So I gotta remember this. So it's... I gotta try changing it. So A15, B40. Um, what happened? Nothing. David, do you think, do you think Barry is alive? I don't know, kid. I hope he's okay. Me too. Uh, I wrote down that he's dead. So this to this. So that's 30. It needs to be 45. So this to here. This to here. 45. No. You said 15 and 45. <laughs> But I guess not. I don't know. I don't think I need the electricity because I don't need the electricity for downstairs because he said that they can't have a backup power. Uh, I found the location of the outpost. We have a secure hideout from the incoming storm. I learned about a lodge in the woods up north. It might be worth checking out. I will check it out when I'm done here. Oh, it's dark down here. Fire hose is locked behind a cabinet. But how well do locks work against my crowbar? Not well, apparently. Use fire hose on darkness? What? Oh, can I use it to descend here? So I take this and I drop it down here. What? Oh, okay, I did lay it down. Cool. Darkness. It's too dark to see anything. I don't have any lights. I'm gonna go re fix that power just in case it does give, a, give me light down there. Hey, there we go. That was much faster this time. Uh, let's see if yeah, let's see if it casts enough light down here. It does not cast any light down here, and I don't have anything to start a fire. So I guess I'm just gonna descend, climb down, take five minutes. Yep, kind of gotta. Hey, Cody did make it down with me. That's very nice. Oroy is very dead over here. No, 
Oh wait, door. Gotta check the door. It's locked. Hey, I have a key. Right? Nope, I don't have a key anymore, apparently. Oh god, he's dead. Wait, I gotta try this with the crowbar. First, it's shut tight. Nowhere to fit the crowbar. Never mind. Okay, I guess gotta deal with this now. Oh, he's alive. <laughs> uh, Barry, you're alive! Looks like, looks like my expectations about this place have suddenly dropped. Ha, <laughs> you're terrible. I also feel terrible. What should I do? You got the location of the base? Yes. Good. Get out of here, then. Can't leave you like that. I'm good as done, David. Take the kid and go. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'll let you fall. It's all right. You made the right choice. Maggie knew you would make the right choice. Huh? My wife. She knew. In her note, she wrote. That she knows you'll make the right choice when the time comes. The note was for me. That section. That line. That was for you. I know it. I see it. Barry, get up, please. A sec, okay, kid? Uncle Barry's got to rest his bones a bit. Go, David. Take good care of him, Kate. I don't know where you're going, but I'll meet you in another life. Goodbye, Barry. Is the roof not fall on us? No? Poor Barry. I have to leave him like this for now. Maybe after finding an exit, it'll be time to honor him. Hey there. How are you holding up, kid? Miss Barry. He was so kind and good. And then he fell into that hole. Shh, don't cry. I'm not crying. About Kate. Any new thoughts on Kate? She is nice, but a bit scary. How so? Like, she's pretty, but also kind of mean. But not really. Not really? Yeah, I think she's a good person. She just tries to hide it. Why would anyone try to hide that they're a nice person? I don't get adults. Same. Ah, I'm walking on glass. Reception desk. Anything interesting here? Nothing useful here. Okay, main door. Yep, there's the sand dune. Can't interact with Barry. Guess we go out this way now. Collapsed doorway. It's just collapsed. Can't do much about it. Collapsed doorway. Also just completely collapsed. Nothing I can do. What is this? Just dark there, but here's a door. Whoa. I've unlocked it. Kate. David, you've got the location. You really don't care about Barry, do you? Don't you want to ask about him first? I just assume he's dead. He died for this information, Kate. He died for good, for God's sake. Like I said, that's what I assumed. Oh, okay, assume I've got your stupid map then. Show me it. Take a look. The launch pad is in the mountains. We can go right away. What about your dream? The storm, acid rain, thunder. What about them? If we get to the launch pad fast, that won't be our problem. I, I don't know, David. You had that dream. It might mean we won't escape just like that. The wind blows from the east. The storm comes from that direction. If we go, if we go there today, we might it, might it might catch us in the open before we can find a ship. And it can't launch during a storm for sure. We have to wait for the storm to pass pass in our base. We ha we have to stay one more night. How about we stay here then? The storm will get us here too. You've seen weather and, and, and anomalies before, David. I'd rather be in our Reinforced space than in, in this death trap, flooded with sand and acid rainwater. That's fair. Okay, so now we have the, the launch pad down here and the hunter's lodge. Uh, shoot, but now Barry's dead, so we can't help me build this ditch. Dig this ditch, which I gotta do now. Yes, use the shovel on the ground around the. Yeah, 105 minutes. That's still a long time. Well, alright, got a nice big ditch. Oh, the ditch goes all the way down here. Very nice. And there's one on the other side, too, it looks like. Oh, wait, I need that car. I don't want to just walk here. All right, driving to the lodge. Barry up to fix the car, and then he died. Oh, uh, we dug some ditches around the base. We have to secure our hideout uh, for the incoming storm. Yes, this is true. We do. What's in here? Is there going to be someone in here with a gun trying to kill me? Nope. The couch. No time to sit down now. Yeah, but I could push the couch, couldn't I? Painting to fix a wall for a large dog in a snowy hill. There's a human settlement in the distance. Night scar is dark. Seems to be hazy. I think I've seen this picture before. Uh, my screen just flashed white a lot. Did, did you see that? I don't know if that was my monitor freaking out or... That was very strange. One of the antlers is skewed. I can't reach it. Fireplace. 
It's empty with a thick layer of ash on its walls and floor. It smells like burnt wood. I'll go back here first, I guess. Bottle of whiskey? Hey, nice. Take it, why not? Broomstick? Cool. Is this food? Not food that I can take, apparently. An electrical outlet. A socket won't solve any of my problems with anything to plug in. Wooden boards. Just, I don't want them. I want to move them. What is this? I miss Barry. I know, kid. I can't... I can see the back of the old lodge from here. Well, electrical outlet is plugged into this light. There's this thing here that I don't, I'm not sure what that is. Can I use the bro broomstick to poke this? This seems long enough to be able to push the antler. There was a loud click somewhere in the room. Under the couch. Back here somewhere. Is there a hidden, hidden door in here somewhere? Picture? Move the picture? Nope. Can you use the broom to push the picture? Nope. What about the fireplace? Did it change? No. Kate, can you help me put, push the couch? Uh, nope. No couch pushing options here. Oh, I want to talk to her about this. Mayweather. Catherine Mayweather. Huh? Is that your name? What do you ask? It just did the white flashing again. I don't, what is that? Is that the storm coming? I've seen it in one of the documents. It worked for Sidereal, didn't you? Briefly. I didn't even know where this office was before the dream I just had. And I definitely wasn't important enough to earn a place on a lifeboat, it appears. That would seem to be true. Why hide it? Why conceal that information? Isn't that obvious, David? Cybrio caused it. All of it. The moon? Yes, and more than that. I wasn't directly involved, but you can imagine I don't want to be shot in the face by some stranger for mentioning that my employer has accidentally destroyed the world. I get that, too. What else are you hiding? Nothing. Jeez, David. I'm sorry, but I think you know more than you say. It turned out to be the truth in the past, and I think it's still the case. Alright, you don't have to trust me if you don't want to. Just help me get to that ship. The ship is gone. So from the documents I found, it seems people from this office were evacuated in, on the launch pad. Wouldn't that mean the ship is long gone? It's not gone. How do you know? Dreams, David. I also keep having them. Okay, we're going all in on the dreams for this. I'm going to go throw my new wooden planks into this box. Or in the, in the cargo truck. Throw my whiskey in there, too. Whiskey is heavier than a broomstick, apparently. Ew. What a probably gross. Tall, ew, this, sir, is someone dead? Do you want to climb up the tree? Yep, someone's going to be dead up there because there's blood right here. Oh, or not. Scouring around to see anything, and I don't. Looks like I just, there's nothing up here. There's blood back here, though. What is that? Game. What is the blood? What is this right up here? A roof covered in leaves. Solar panels? Yeah, that's probably how they kept the lights on at night. Solar panels don't work at night. Come on, David, don't be stupid. They store the power during the day. Hey, I knew that. I was just joking. Anyway, I can see the panels under all those leaves. I doubt they collect anything. Well, I can climb up to the roof using the port railing, but I need something to help me remove the leaves. Can I climb it too? Uh, well, I have a broom to sweep the leaves off. Oh, God, why is the, the, what is this white flashing? I don't know. Yes, sweep the roof. Now is the power in here going to be on? Why is this not turned on? I can see the lodge from here. So what changed in here with that creek? I'm not finding anything. Can I push? You might crowbar on this to push it? No, apparently not. So I pushed the horn. It said something in the room changed, but there's nothing different in this room now. I can't go like back down here or something? No? I don't know what's gonna be up in the tree. Obviously that's something. I wanna know what this blood in the leaves right here is. Because that's kind of concerning. <sighs> Can I tear this painting off the wall or something? Oh, wait. Oh, there are scratches right here. Okay. There's some visible scratches on the floor, as if something was pushed back and forth repeatedly. It was the couch. Whoa, what did I say? Something was going to be on the couch. There was a revolver in the safe. There's still something in there. There was a box of ammo in the safe. There's one more box inside. There's a revolver and ammo in the safe. Nothing else now? The safe is empty. Well, okay. Oh, rifle rounds, because I have a rifle. Nah, nah, nice, nice. Nice, and I have ammo in my revolver. Is that all that was here? 
don't think there was much. Like, the solar panels were something, right? But I don't know what. Oh, I just walked all the way back here. Uh, wow, I just wasted a lot of time doing a lot of walking. I need more nails. Can I break my bridge for nails? Hammer on the bridge? Nope. Okay. Well, I imagine zombies won't be climbing in through the, the, the top area of the house. All right, well, now that I have my rifle, that is very handy. Oh, that is, it is lightning. Okay, I saw on my recording, and then there was thunder. That is good to know. All right, well, I'm going to close the door because I think we're going to be attacked by zombies sometime soon. And don't want the doors open for zombies. Oh, I have a, a thing of nails down there. I was wondering where my fourth nails went. Okay, throw the plank up on the window. Ah, oh, nice. It's just hanging there. I should attach it. Yep, I have nails to attach it. Yep, just hammer that in. Nice, that went very well. I don't think I'll need the power for the house tonight. I can't see how it would help with any of my problems. So obviously the rain can get in through the roof up here, but I don't know how I could stop that, prevent that from happening, with, other than just this blanket right here. So obviously we're gonna get attacked by zombies too, so I gotta lock the doors. I think I'll give Kate the revolver and keep the, uh, the rifle for myself, because I'm the man of the household. So I need the big gun to compensate. Okay, so I'm gonna give Kate the revolver. You might need this. Thanks, I already have a gun, remember? Right. That's right, she does. Can I give this to Cody? No way. Can I give the knife to him? I can't do that. Okay, apparently not. I really don't know what else to do, because I really am not sure what the entirety of tonight is going to entail. So I guess I'll just try it. So you think you're ready? Oh, I can't have the... Why can't I use the revolver? Can I just give it to Barry, I guess, if he's alive? I'll pick the rifle. As the day ended, black clouds pushed by winds from the east covered the sky, causing dark shadows below the ground. Loud thunder was sounding all around, preceded with sudden and sharp flashes of light. With them, the first raindrops fell on the wastelands. It was not a life-giving water. The dry land had been thirsty for. It was saturated with burning acid, as if Earth decided to clean its surface of life before the moon did. I did dig ditches around the base, driving away some of the water. 15%. That is not much. I didn't secure the hole in the roof the helicopter made. A lot of water poured through. How was I supposed to secure that? Left the roof hatch open. A lot of water poured in through that. Yikes. Didn't do anything to save the house from being struck by lightning. It was bound to happen. A loud rumble almost blew your eardrums, and a large part of the roof was gone. Water poured in. You closed the front door. It sopped some water. Right, that sopped some water. And the ground floor was covered with a sealed board. The board was nailed to the frame. It sopped 7%. Window on the upper floor was 7%. Bathroom window was covered with plastic wrap. The foil hover was not attached to the frame in any way. So I, oh, I, I can try duct taping that. Put a thick blanket on the ceiling. As a result, 8% did not look good. The ground floor flooded with water poured in from the upper floor. The leaking from the roof and the windows. The acid burned your skin while you struggled to stand against the water current. It was too much for poor Cody. You didn't even notice when a big wave washed into him down the stairs. The kid drowned in the acid. It was way too much, as you were standing in knee-deep, murky acid rain, a nearby lightning struck turned out to be your demise. Okay, that didn't go well. I'm gonna go duct tape this plastic to the uh, the window frame, just because it's better than nothing, I assume. Duct tape plastic wrap. Yes, thank you. That'll be better than nothing, I think. So am I supposed to push this out of the, the door or something? What, what am I supposed to do to... She needs to totally wreck nothing I can do about it. If I come out here, can I knock it off? Crash in the house, make a big hole in the attic. Yes, it did. Okay, come on, keep walk over here, please. Nope, looks like there's nothing. How do I? How am I supposed to get that to come off? The hatch. Oh, I can just close the hatch with my hand. Apparently. Helicopter. How am I supposed to secure this? Do I just have to close this door? Is there even a door here? No, there's not. No. There's plastic wrap on passage. I can't do that. Can I put a plank of wood there? Plank of wood on the passage? Not really. Uh, I couldn't board it up at all. Plank it. It's too small to cover the hut. Oh. So what? Am I, am I supposed to just, like, cover the helicopter? I have nets. I can't combine. Oh, I, forgot, I totally forgot you can combine things in this game. Like, that just never... It's never relevant. You never have to combine anything, so I just don't don't ever do it. 
toss the net on this. You can't see how that would work. So the blanket just wasn't large enough to cover it. And I clearly need some way to draw the lightning. I need some sort of lightning rod outside. Okay, is there any way I can convert this into like a, a lightning rod? No, doesn't seem so. Can I turn on the sprinklers to like, I don't, to, to, I don't even know. Maybe I'll get more gas, just since it's fast. While you were traveling to the gas station, you know, some fresh tracks on the ground that weren't there before seem to lead to the restaurant. Cool! I'll go there then. That was a mistake, that was a mistake, who are you? Hands in the air now, relax, we're just hands in the air now! All right, all right there. Kate, would you? Please don't shoot us, we're innocent. It's okay, Cody, I'm not gonna shoot us. Who are you? My name's David, this is Kate, and all right, save it. You can explain everything to Sarge. All right, let's keep it civilized. Very much in favor of that. Let's start with this. Who are you and what are you doing here? We're fam. We're just looking for supplies. My name is David. This is my wife, Kate. David. Relax, dear. I got this. Sure, dear. <clears throat> so as I was saying, that's us. That's our son, Cody. Um, yes, hello. And you're just looking for supplies. Yes, can I ask you the same question? Sergeant First Class Franklin McWillis. And this is my squad. Josh, Mark, Stephen, Paul. Is here with the army? We are the army. All that's left of it. Uh, all it would appear. There's no movement. There's no more government. No more HQ. We're on our own. We're still wearing the uniforms, though. That's what keeps us together, son. What are you going to do with us now? Nothing. At ease, guys. Back to your posts. All right. Sorry about that. You never know these days. It's good to meet a friendly face once. I don't care about any of this. I've got one. I haven't had him. Oh, Steve! We were attacked. Small group of bandits. Nothing we couldn't handle. But Steve was wounded. He's not doing well. I don't have anything to treat him with. I was hoping to find something here, but no luck. What do you need exactly? Some bandages and some disinfectant for his wounds. Well, I don't have either of those things. Yeah, you're not the bandits we mistook you for, so yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go back here now that I can. A closet door. A uh, bottle of oil. A bottle of rat poison. A magazine. Oh, I now have rat poison and and kitchen oil. Okay. The squad of soldiers led by Sarge. They were stationed in the restaurant and might offer us some help. You think so? I don't think that's likely. I don't have anything for Steve. I'm sorry, Steve, but it's a no-go for me. I'm getting low on fuel. I need to just refill my car while I'm here anyway. But I didn't bring the gas tank, because I'm a genius. Ugh, there we go. There's there's that now. I'm going to drop my kitchen oil here in my wrap. These are all similar bottles, so I assume I'm going to need those for, for something, I guess. That light post down there would be really convenient for, uh, you know... Taking. Okay, well, here's gas for my car. And then I can go... I need to just, uh... Gotta go and get gas for the house. And then I need to... I want to go down to Sidereal Plexus and try and use that that uh, thing as a lightning rod. Okay, so that's all the gas I need. But right, I'm gonna actually save again, just in case I lose and run out of time, because I took all that time going down to Sidereal Plexus. Okay, we're gonna drive down here real quick. I want to take this, this street lamp. Can I dig it out? Bad idea. Crowbar it. Can't see how that would work. So you're a big idiot. You're a big dumb idiot. Not really. I guess that was a waste of time then, okay. So I still don't know what I'm supposed to use as a lightning rod. Can I just like, I don't know, use water to distract from the house? Okay, so hopefully I can turn this on and the water will keep the, uh, the rain away from the house. Wait, do I, uh, do I have to, like, turn this on at a certain time? Do I have to set, set that setting or something? Seems to be broken for good. Oh, well then there's no reason in having it on at all. So I'm just gonna switch this over to the house. For some reason, I don't know. I do have a water pump that I could... Could I put that somewhere to help keep water out? 
a water sprayer. No. I don't need to be spraying water. I need to be getting the water out of here. So what am I supposed to do to cover this helicopter wreck? Yeah, there's nothing I can do about it, but I need to throw some stuff up around it. Oh, I need to put the blanket back over there so that the that stops that. Can I cut up with the jacket so that I can have strips to duct tape together? Guess not. I'll drape the blanket right back up here. I'm gonna go try and end the night again. Just uh, to see what we'll see what happens. I guess I don't need anything from. I'll take a knife. I don't know. It doesn't matter. They ended, black clouds passed by, dug ditches, which drove 15%. Didn't secure the hole made by the helicopter. A lot of water poured in. Closed the roof of the hatch. It was a good idea. It stopped 10% from pouring in. Didn't find anything to save the house from being struck by lightning. It was bound to happen. A loud rumble almost blew your eardrums. A large portion of the roof poured in. Door closed. Oh, I didn't even close that door. Okay. Went on the ground floor was blurred up 7%. This one was 7%. This went from 1% to 4%. That's better. Thick blank is 8%. Okay, so I still need to... I still need to find a way to stop lightning from striking and a way to... What? Pro to cover up the door for the, or the, the hole that the helicopter made? How do I do that? Ugh, I gotta go back in time and try and figure this out. So, I think at the house, I have that extension cord, but I don't know. I, because I, I could, there's the, the outlet at the Hunter's Lodge, so I don't know if plugging that in is going to help me at all. Maybe I'm supposed to give the gun to, give the gun to the sergeant. Maybe I give him both the guns. Maybe I should take the whiskey for the, the dying man. Just to help him, help him with the pain. Maybe. I don't know, I gotta I got try anything at this point, honestly. Okay, first. I should make some sort of deal before I start handing out my stuff. That's fair. That's fair. And then you just, hey, have you heard anything? Please, we're exploring. We're looking for this fire. I had a hmm, construction site. So, you're my boy, shot when they're getting the scout here. But we're not sure what's there. Maybe if there's something useful there. Here, take a. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Whatever he just said. I don't know. How's Steve doing? I don't have everything in Trio's wounds. What does he need exactly? Some bandages. And some dis- I'm just gonna- I sort of disinfect it. I do have whiskey. Here you go, my guy. Because this could be so dis- Whoa, that'd be a waste of fine whiskey. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on. You can have the rest of it. Okay, so now I need to find him a bandage, apparently. I don't know. Maybe there's a bandage at the construction site. There's- Oh, it's way down here. 12 minutes. Oh, I'm so short on time. Okay, we're gonna go to the construction site. What is... Ah, that's, is that a dead body? Yikes. It's a big crane right here. What's... What's supposed to do here? Oh, ah, there's a hole in the wall. Okay. Stack. It's a big and it's in the way. Yep, a generator. It's out of fuel. Uh, oh, I, I guess here, because I didn't go and fill my generator this time. Okay, I fueled it, and now I just have to start it. Might as well. It's big and it's heavy. It's in the way. Spool bar. Can't reach that. Oh, there's metal bars over here. What? Why do I need more metal bars? Can I place these against the... You don't think so. You could place it against the... Never mind. Oh, there's... Yeah, I can go to the entrance over here. Instead of going the back way. Magazine. I don't, I don't care about that. Aliens. I know. David, no aliens. Don't believe everything you read, even if it's not far from the actual truth. It isn't. Let's move, David. Pull the tarp. Maybe I can throw that over the helicopter. I don't know. Ouch! This metal is rusty and covered with spikes. It's gonna cut my hands and bleed to death if I try to climb that. I'll go into the site. Hey, I, that actually just brought me around here. Cool. Suck under the large heap of con. Oh, so I need to climb the crane, which I can't do from this side. Okay. Okay, so now I'll climb the crane. Take five minutes? Yeah, I mean, what else can I do? Operate the crane, apparently. What? Open. Move it up. Move it out. Okay, move it closer. Drop it. Close it. Lift it. I can't see if I have my stuff. I've already lifted what I've already lifted what I wanted. I'm done here. Okay. Is there anything else I can do up here? 
Nope. Okay, spool of wire. Can I use this to stop the lightning or something? Uh, I need to go dump some stuff in the truck. Okay, truck, take my metal bars, and apparently I don't need to give him the gun yet because I don't have a bandage. Okay, there's the wire. I'm gonna go back to the base now and, and try to throw the tarp up, see if I can use the wires, some sort of lightning rod. Maybe, it, maybe I should attach the pipe or something and stick that on the roof. I have less than an hour left. I gotta remember to close this door because I did not last time. All right, tarp, you're bigger than a blanket. I should try to cover it from the outside. Oh, I gotta go throw this blanket over this. Maybe? Oh, it looks like it's working. I guess he's just gonna walk over there and go talk. Okay, 40 minutes. Oh, okay, 28 minutes, and I have 44 minutes left. Oh, yikes. Can I use this on the chimney? Come on, let me just wrap it around. Take 31 minutes, but I don't have that much time. Oh, no. I just gonna, I'm just gonna start this whole day over, please, no. I guess I gotta try it with this and hope I have enough to survive. Door's closed, okay. Ah, door isn't closed, door, I didn't close the door. I need to remember to do that. Door's closed now. Gonna wait out the night. Don't need anything in my hand, cause there's no reason to put anything in my hand. Yeah, 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 dug the trench. Let's get it with a tarp, prevented 10%. However, it wasn't a perfect fix. How else am I supposed to do that? Do I have to duct tape down or something? Oh, and I left the hatch open. This is, I'm not gonna make it tonight. Very clearly. Yeah, I forgot that too. Wow, I forgot a lot of stuff. I forgot a lot of stuff. All right, I have to drop this blanket right here. Just use the duct tape, please. Oh, that works by, oh. Uh, I don't have enough time, I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time. Let's try it one last time. Day ended, yeah, loud thunder. Okay, 15%, 10%. 10%. Didn't do anything about the house being struck. I, I didn't have time. I didn't have time. Close the front door. Close the back door. Covered the window. Covered the window. Come on. Covered the window. 8%. It's ah 33. I'm I'm close, but I can't. I don't still have enough time anymore. I'm out. Of, I'm out of time for the day. All right. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna try this again tomorrow. Obviously, I'm not gonna get it right now. But it'll be one video for you. But I guess I just won't upload a video tomorrow so I can do all this. Thanks, I don't need to do an exit, why am I doing that? And we're back, and it's the next day, and we're starting over from the beginning of this day so as to not make so many stupid decisions. Like, I'm not gonna waste time having Barry fix the car, but I am gonna take the hammer and nails. I need to do everything that I can do with Barry right now. Which, I mean, it's, I think I need to first take off this plastic wrap, grab these nails down here. Uh, yeah, I gotta unhammer this. I need Barry to help me with everything possible. Remove that. Those are gonna get taken down, but that doesn't take time, so I'm gonna do it later. Yep, take down all of that stuff. Now duct tape this up here on there. Yep, all right. I think that's all I'm gonna be allowed to do with Barry before I have to go and uh, kill him, really, let him die. So I'm gonna, save, I'm gonna save the kid, I'm gonna save Cody, of course. I'm not gonna have Barry fix the car this game because that seems like it was totally unnecessary. Okay, so we're gonna drive to the bridge, and then fix the bridge. Now fix the bridge some more. Yep, okay, so now that's there. That's, I, I really want that. That just saves so much time moving around. All right, I'm sorry, Barry. I'm gonna have to let you fall. Gotta save the kid. And he just can't hold on for two seconds longer. Ripperoni. It's so dark in here. All right, now power. There we go, that was very fast. Okay, gotta get all that important information. All right, and now I'm just gonna leave. Now I climb down. Gotta climb down, don't have an option in that. And then I just leave, because there's nothing else to do here. All right, the whole Barry death scene, gotta get through all this. Well, that's over now. Very sad and emotional, yeah, 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 I get it. I've unlocked it, here's Kate. Skip through all this, and then we'll go start setting up for the night. Okay, I could go here and see if the Colonel guy is here already, but I don't think he's going to be. And so I'm going to go straight, I'm gonna go back to the house first, get the extension cord and try plugging that in at the, uh, the lodge. All right, so I don't need this ID badge or this paper with me right now. The nails can stay here. Don't need the fan. Gotta make sure my cargo box has room for the stuff that I'm going to need. All right, it's car time. 
All the way. I'm getting low on gas now, actually. That's not good. Grab my wooden boards. Grab the broomstick. Let's see if I can try plugging this in here. Sock won't solve any of my problems without something to plug in. Yeah, plug this in. Okay. Can I, like, put this out the window and run it up the tree? I can put it out the window. Jab this with my broomstick. All right, cool. Got the the guns and the ammo. Use the broom on that. 55 minutes. I'm gonna save before I do that. Save right over here, the over the berry death one. Because if this doesn't accomplish anything and I'm low on time, I'll come back and undo undo that decision. Oh yeah, so can I run this up the tree? Yes. Okay. Awesome. So I need, do I need to find something to plug it into that will, uh, you know, help draw the lightning? I don't know. I'll figure. I guess I can figure that one out. This light isn't on. I feel like the light should be on, but I don't know. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the house since I have to pass by here anyway. Pull this stuff off of the windows and put up my, my boards, but I won't nail them up yet. There's nothing up here I can do until I get the tarp and the copper wire, right? I don't think so. I can close the hatch, but I don't need to right now. So, I'm, yeah, time to go see if I can meet up with the military dudes. All right, I'm going to take my guns just because, uh, I, I don't know. I feel like I should have them for this. Oh, truck, have enough, have enough gas. Get us to the gas station, please. 14%. Oh, nice. 7% fuel used. Yep. Fresh tracks weren't there before. They seem to lead to the restaurant. But I still want to go here first so I can fill up on gas. Okay, this gas is for the car. Now I need more gas for the uh, generator at the construction site. And now I gotta go head over to the military dudes. Yada, yada, yada. Do you know any interesting places? Uh, we're looking for how to, yep, construction site. Yep, that's where I want to go. I will find something useful there. Very useful. Okay, it's starting to thunder out there. I should see if he has any other dialogue options. Because, uh... Because I can give him the guns, obviously, but I need to, something to trade with him. What are your plans, Sarge? We're headed west. There's a fire stop for we attempt to take that. Be, the line should be on this place. I guess you're traveling in the same direction. You can join us if you want. Actually, we're going east. East, that's a terrible idea. Why? We just came from there, escaping a dead full storm. Hey, it's, it's hell, I'm telling you, thunderstorms like you've never seen before. And the rain is acidic, it burns the skin. Trust me, you don't want to go east. Not today, at least. Yep, not east. Have, do you know have any ideas on how we can survive the storm? Damn it, son, why are you so stubborn? If you have to stay, dig some ditches around your Ah, oh, okay, I have to do that. Uh, also talk to Paul, he's our technician. I know he has some scientific instruments that might help you. But don't expect it our help in re for nothing in return. We have our own needs. Yep. And your needs are guns. Take the booze, please. I'm not gonna offer to take him with us, because I don't. I need to not tell people about this. Yep. Take the whiskey. So I need to talk to Paul. He's the technician? Oh, is Paul the, the guy in here that's all hurt and stuff? Uh, how do you feel? How do you feel? How do you think I feel? Like a kitchen strainer. <laughs> Is there anything we can do for it to help? If you have a clean bandage, that would be great. I don't. I don't know where I'd get a clean bandage either. All the way down here. That's a lot of gas. I'm using a lot of gas to get down here. I have fueled it. I just have to start it. Crank that engine and climb the crane. Perfect. There's my spool of wire. I don't think there's anything else in the back. Oh, other than these metal bars for some reason, which I, I probably don't need anymore, but I'll, I'll grab them just in case. A welding kit? What? Do I have a... Oh, I don't have my shovel to reach it. Uh, I really don't know what I need a, a welding kit for, though. I can go back to my house now and start, like, working on all these, these construction project things that I have. First things first, we gotta dig a trench around the house. 105 minutes, that's a long time, but it's re you really need to do it. I gotta nail up these these boards. Oh, it's, yep, it's starting to lightning too. Nailed. Across the roof, gotta throw my tarp over this. Yep, toss the tarp over. I don't know how they're helping me if they're gonna be down there the whole time. Now I need to duct tape this. 21 minutes, yep. So now the tarp's held in place nicely. Let's wrap the wire here. Do you want to install the wire on the chimney and lead it down to the ground? Yeah, because that'll work like lightning bolt. I've installed a lightning rod. Exactly. Exactly. That'll be really nice. Gotta shut the hatch. I'm gonna make sure this door back here is closed. Then I'm gonna go around front to see if I can see where that uh, like wire is hanging out. Yep, just right to the ground right here. And I cannot 
interact with it at all, so I assume there's nothing I can do. Yep, so this hatch is closed, this blanket is over this. That's tarped and taped. I think that's pretty much good. I don't know if there's anything else. Gotta make sure the door's closed. I'm gonna try it. I'm pretty confident. Two hours and 56 minutes? Yeah, there's a ton of time to fix stuff if this didn't go well. I don't need anything in my hand. As the day ended, black clouds pushed by winds from the east covered the sky, casting dark shadows on the ground below. Loud thunder, yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Dug ditches, driving some of the water, protected you from being flooded by 15%. Scared the helicopter and the hole covering with a tarp, placing a lot of duct tape around it. Thanks to your efforts, you prevented some water 20%. That's a big, that's a big deal. Just stopped 10%. Lightning and we made an improvised lightning on the roof. That was a good call. Lightning struck the house, hitting it directly. If it wasn't for the rod, the roof would have been taken serious hit. This lowered the threat by 20%. Front door stopped some. Back door stopped some. Window stopped seven. This window stopped seven. That window stopped four. Blanket stopped eight. Woo! Woo! So there was 3% that I could have somehow avoided, but man, that was awesome. The roof was already leaking, but not much of the rainwater managed to pour inside. You were safe. You survived. See you another day. Yes, I did. What's this nightmare of? Is it of the moon hitting the earth? That's my guess. A cold night outside. No, can I go outside for once? Oh, I can't. Oh, yep, that, that would be the moon crashing into Earth. That's kind of horrific. So it isn't today. Is it? Or it is today. Yes, I've seen it. This time, there's no way to survive this. We know where the ship is. Come on, Kate, how is that going to save us? Maybe if you tell me more about that space station, the story would be more believable. But so far, just a little longer, David. Let's go to that outpost. It's pretty far away, so we better take the car. And is there going to be a space? Is there going to be a sp Yes. Yes. Like a real one? And we're, gonna we're going to space? Exactly. I want to go to space. Woo! Woo! All right. I'm going to end this episode here, and we'll go to space next time. Uh, yeah, I'm really glad that I went and restarted it because knowing what to do, I, like, obviously had two, like, almost three hours left before going to this night, whereas I had 16 minutes the last time and had not done very much. Next time, I guess we're gonna escape the Earth, or at least try to. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.